Good morning children. This is the continuation of respiration lesson. So in yesterday's class we have studied about the first step of aerobic respiration and that is glycolysis. It is a common for aerobic and anaerobic. Second step link reaction. So the pyruvate is converted into acetyl CoA. So now uh, the third stage that is citric acid cycle. So it is otherwise called as citric acid cycle or TCA cycle or Krupp cycle. So three carboxylic acids was formed during this cycle. So it is called TCA, tricarboxylic acid. Citric acid form or another citric acid. So it was discovered by Krupp, Hans Adal Krupp. So there are three names for citric acid cycle Krupp cycle, citric acid cycle, TCA cycle. So, so where it was it happened? So it happened inside the mitochondria. So mitochondria structure already we know. So this is an important part, important area for cellular respiration. So without the mitochondria, no energy conversion. Okay. Now crop cycle. So here pyruvate is converted into acetyl CoA marud. Acetyl coenzyme A. So acetyl coenzyme is a two carbon compound the CoA coenzyme A was attached there so when the pyruvate is converted into acetyl CoA NAD is reduced into NADH by pyruvate dehydrogenase the acetyl CoA enter into the citric acid cycle and it combines with oxaloacetate and acetyl CoA this is, this is the four carbon compound oxaloacetate Acetyl CoA is a two carbon compound and uh, with the help of citrate synthetase it uh, releases water and also CoA. It was converted into citrate. Citrate is a six carbon compound. Citrate is converted into cis acanitate. So here three six carbon compound. Cis acanitate is uh, converted into isocitrate with the help of an enzyme acanitase. Isocitrate is uh, converted into oxalosuccinate by the help of an enzyme isocitrate dehydrogenase. Here uh, removal of water that uh, water uh, molecule H was accepted by NA, NAD so NAD is reduced here. Then oxalo isocitrate is converted into oxalo succinate into alpha beta glutarate. The help of an enzyme oxalo succinate decarboxylase. So the first step condensation reaction, second step dehydration, then third step rehydration, then oxidation decarboxylation. Then alpha beta glutarate is converted into succinyl CoA with the dehydrogenase and uh, it was converted into succinate. So automatically that uh, succinyl CoA is converted into succinate. So here ADP is converted into ATP, phosphorylated into ATP. Then succinate is converted into fumarate. Uh, here FAD is reduced into FADH2. Fumarate is converted into malate. Malate uh, is converted into oxaloacetate. Here NAD molecules was reduced. Then the, from the malate, oxaloacetate will come. So, uh, if 
6th and 7th, 8th step, 9th step, 10. So, totally 10 steps. So, finally, so where are the places the NADH is reduced? From isocitrate to oxalosuccinate. Then ADP was generated when the succinyl CoA is converted into succinate. Then succinate to fumarate FADH2 is generated. And the malate to oxalacetate NADH2 is generated. So this is the this is the final step of Krebs cycle. Okay. So first stage is glycolysis, second is link reaction, and third one is citric acid cycle. This is a very important cycle. Glycolysis and this. You may you expect these two questions from from this question any one of you, you will definitely come. Okay. Significance of Krebs cycle. So uh, it provides energy in the form of ATP. It provides carbon skeleton for plants. So plant many intermediates of TCA cycle are metabolized and produce amino acids, proteins and nucleic acid. So, succinyl CO is a raw material for the formation of uh, chlorophyll. S uh, cytochrome, succinyl CO is. Succinyl CO is a raw material for the formation of chlorophyll, cytochrome, pytochrome, and other pyrrole substances. Alpha glutarate. And oxaloacetate undergoes amino amination. I have amino acids. It acts as a metabolic sink which plays a central, in, central role in intermediary metabolism. Sambi folic. Krebs cycle is uh, primarily for catabolic pathway, but it provides precursors for various biosynthetic pathways, thereby an anabolic pathway too. So catabolic means it is breakdown into minute. Anabolic means from the simpler ones, the um, assemblage of uh, bigger ones. Okay. 